So in this video, we will write a short query in SQL Server to show monthly sales for 2012. And then we will visualize this in Google Sheets to compare mountain and road bike sales against the total. If you like this video, please check out my Udemy course in the description where I will do much more analysis and cover each SQL topic I use in my job every day as a data analyst. Let's get started. So I'm just going to look at our AdventureWorks database and you can see the internet sales table, the product table, and the product subcategory table. Product subcategory table will show mountain and road bikes, and we want to compare these against all sales. So I'm just going to change this to a select star. First we have to join the dim product table, as it has the product subcategory key. And we join that on the product key. From here, we join the product subcategory. And we're going to join those on the product subcategory key. Just executed this and then if you go to the right hand side product subcategories here mountain and road bikes mostly but there is tires and tubes etc so what we want to show we want to show that at a month key so we're going to substring the order date key but first we need to cast it as a integer or a character And then we'll show the first six characters and we'll name that month key. And then from here, we want to do a sum and then case when English product subcategory name. Equals mountain bikes. Then we'll bring back the sales amount. Else zero. And we'll name that mountain bike sales. And we'll just copy this and do the exact same for road bikes. Just name it Roback Sales. And then we'll do a sum of the sales amount. And name it Total Sales. And we're just going to do this for 2012. So we need to create a year key. But we'll just change this to four so it will only show the first four characters equals 2012 and we'll group this by the month okay so now we have monthly sales for mountain bikes road bike and our total sales so I'll control and a copy with headers and we'll bring this into Google Sheets I will paste this and we'll bring our month key and our total sales to the bottom and then we'll add a new two new columns percentage of sales road bike and percentage of sales mountain bike change this to dollars and we'll just do a calculation from 
for Robux sales divided by the total. We can autofill this and then we'll do the same for mountain bike. This one doesn't need to change percentage. And then I'm just going to copy all this data and insert a chart. So we want to change this chart type to be a combo chart, or it's known as a dual axis chart in Excel. And we'll add an X axis as our month, and we'll remove it from the series. And then in customize, we need to change the series of our percentage values to display on the right axis. So we'll do it for a road bike and mountain bike. And I'll just change the colors. So I'll change the colors of the bars to be a bit lighter. And I can change the lines to be a bit thicker. We'll change it to three. We need to do it for both. And that is it. So we can see our total sales values in the bars and what percentage of the sales were in a road bike and what percentage were in a mountain bike. And we can see how they cross each other towards Christmas. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.